We're trying to write signs that are a little more friendly. So even we're writing a sign right now, we have this um, exhibition on love and this beautiful sculpture when you come in, you saw it, that is, you know, hanging pieces of twine with cardboard. It's very delicate, um, but it's also made of very uh, familiar materials. So people recognize that it's delicate, but they also, I think, are less respectful of it than they would be of, say, something made of glass or something like that. And so. We've been talking about, I think tomorrow actually, we're going to put up, or today, sorry, we're going to put up a label that says, you know, um, Ruth Borfin's um, hanging sculpture is about love. Love is fragile, and so is this sculpture. It's not meant to be touched. And there are a lot of things there where we're trying to, first of all, put the touching part into a passive voice. Not please don't touch it, you know, you were thinking about it, but that's not what it's, that's not what it's made to do. And then also contextualizing it a little bit around content as opposed to, I think, you know, the problem I have with don't touch signs is not about telling people not to touch. It's that they throw you out of an experience you're having with the content and into this place that's about being punitive or, you know, having a line. And I think that what we want to do is find ways to invite people into the experience and help them understand, you know, how to trust and how to take care of things. Um, we're also looking at doing things like specific family guides that really focus on where are the places where you can run around and make a mess. You know, there are a lot of museums that have done things with certain symbols, like when you see the symbol, that means you can do X. It's unclear whether that really works. And, um, I mean, I think it's an interesting challenge that we're going to keep dealing with that the more people we introduce to museums who've never been in a museum before and the more people we make comfortable in museums the more people we offer chairs and games and all the things we're doing um, the more they're going to really feel ownership and we need to, it's our responsibility to make sure that that ownership connection involves stewardship. And well it's complicated because there are so many like long-standing um, you know, perpetuated things of, you'll even see parents who are like very aggressive, like, don't touch! And in some ways that's just as bad as the parents who like just let their kids zoom all over the place, which we see here too. You know, what I want, and it's such a delicate balance, like, there was once a family in, when we had a woodworking show, and I remember I walked into the gallery once, and this dad and his son are lying on the ground, like looking up at this desk. They're not touching it. It's great. And the kid suddenly shouts out, I love this! And like, and you know, that is so great, and we want to encourage that every day. And it's about helping people see that, yes, you can lie on the floor and look at the art if you want. No, you can't touch it. I mean, that's, you know...